Hello, and welcome to New England Escapades. Today we went to Boston Common in the Boston Public Garden. Here's what we learned on our adventure. Boston Common has served many purposes throughout the centuries. While it was initially privately owned, the land was purchased by the founders of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. For years it functioned as a cow pasture, until overgrazing led to restrictions on how many cows could be at the common. It was later used as a camp for the British soldiers immediately before the Battle of Lexington. Hangings were also carried out on the common until 1817. By 1830, cows were no longer allowed to graze on the common, and its status as a park began to emerge. An ornamental fence was placed around the 50 acres of property, and there's actually an argument to be made that Boston Common had just become the world's first urban park. From then until today, Boston Common has been used for everything imaginable, from baseball games and concerts to protests and freedom rallies. There are yearly productions of Shakespeare during the summer, and there's a splash pool and playground for children. Fenders line several of the paths, and there are even tennis courts. Two unique features for the park include the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, unveiled in 1877. This monument was erected in honor of the Massachusetts soldiers and sailors who lost their lives during the Civil War. The other unique feature is the Central Burying Ground, a small cemetery established in 1756. Both make for an unusual, but more interesting park experience than average. By crossing Charles Street, you will arrive at the Boston Public Garden, the oldest public botanical garden in the country. Like the rest of Boston's Back Bay neighborhood, the area was mostly mudflats and marshes until a massive fill project began in the early 1800s. A hill called Mount Vernon near the historic Beacon Hill neighborhood was used as a source for the fill, and today Mount Vernon no longer exists for this reason. The public garden was established in 1837, when philanthropist Horace Gray petitioned for the use of the land as the first public botanical garden in the United States. However, due to bureaucracy and other red tape, it would be until 1859 that construction of the garden would proceed. The 24 acres of landscape were planned by architect George F. Meacham, and in the 1860s work on the planned fountains and statues in the park was completed. In 1877, Robert Paget first created the swan boats for the pond in the garden. These boats are pedal-powered by the driver, and visitors to the garden can ride them to this day. In 1941, the publication of Make Way for Ducklings shone a spotlight on the public gardens, as it is the setting for the classic children's story. In 1987, a bronze statue of Mrs. Moward and her eight ducklings was installed in the public garden. Sculpted by Nancy Schoen, the sculpture spans 35 feet in length. It remains a popular photo opportunity for children and some enterprising adults. There are several other statues around the public garden, most notably the equestrian statue of George Washington facing the Arlington Street entrance. Combined with its pedestal, the statue is 38 feet tall. This makes it much more impressive whenever a Boston sports team wins a season, and some likely inebriated locals dress the statue in a team jersey. While they are two distinct parks, their proximity from one another makes Boston Common and Boston Public Garden easy to tie in together, particularly in terms of planning a visit. There's a large parking garage underneath the common, so parking is usually very easy. Additionally, Boston Common is readily accessible by the MBTA stop Park Street, serviced by the Green and Red Line trains, and the Public Garden can be accessed via the Green Line at Arlington Station. They're both very convenient to get to, and a great way to spend a sunny day. If you liked this video, if you please liked like this subscribe video, to see please more. like and subscribe Thank to you see for watching, more. and keep Thank on you for adventuring, watching. and keep on adventuring.